Hi, welcome you all today. My name is Kimberly Halcro and I will be teaching you numbers in the Nimuin. Akutasuna. So, first, Akutasuna. That's the word for numbers. Are you saying numbers in Cree? And so before I start, just to get your attention, I'm going to quickly say and sing my song and then we'll go into this. So the song's going to go like this. It's going to get, it'll be catchy, singing in your head. Don't be afraid to use your fingers and that will help you a lot. So it's going to go like this. Beya niso nesto newo nianan nikatasik. One more time. Biak ni so nesto newo nianan nikatasik akate pakok ena neo kikats medata mina metata akota esko e akota sonan. So at the end, when we say akota esko akota sonan, that means that's what that's that's where we count up to with the numbers. Okay. So let's slowly take it here from here. So let's say say biak ni so nesto newo nianen nikatasik depakup ena now gigats medanet medanet. Okay. Now I'm gonna write them on the board. So we have biak ni so nesto. Nevo, Nianen, Nikatosik, Debakup, Aina Nel, Gigas Medadas, Medadas. Okay, say it really fast for you. Yep, Niso, Nisto, Nevo, Nianen, Nikatosik, Debakup, Aina Nel, Gigas Medadas, Medadas. Okay. And so one of my students asked me, well, what about zero? Is zero a number? I said, yeah, we could put in zero. But zero, we say, mots gagon. So you're going to move your hand. So you can go, mots gagon. It's like your hand's saying no. Look in your hand. There's nothing in there. So mots gagon, that will be your zero. So let's start from the top again. So mots gagon. Byak, niso, nesto, neo, nianen. Nikatosik debakuk ena neo gigas medadath medadath. Okay? Alright, so, and then from here, we're gonna explain more. So, this is your basic numbers. You have to know your basic numbers to go on to count higher. So, it's very important to listen what comes in order. So, bia, ni so nesta, newa, niana, nikatosik debakuk ena neo are your main ones. So anything that comes with nine, you're always going to hear that word gigats. So gigats means almost the next number. Okay, which almost. So nine, you said gigats medada. And it tells you in the nines what the next number is going to be because number 10 is medada. So once you start recognizing the writing of the numbers and you'll be able to read the numbers and um, to know the pattern. Okay, so medadath. So now we're going to go into the teens. So like I said, we're going to um, write it out. So 10, so what comes after 10? We have 11. So here's your tens place. So we're going to use the word medadath. Here's one on your ones place. So one is biak. And we're gonna add the osap. So osap just just makes it more um, like 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So this is the teens. And it also continues with the other uh, numbers on the one spots, okay? So after 10, medadeth. 
So we're going to say 11. We're going to say Medadath Byak Osap. Medadath Byak Osap. Medadath Byak Osap. Okay? Medadath Byak Osap. Medadath Byak Osap. So that's 11. So I'm going to squeeze. We're going to say 12. Okay? So we're going to take our 10 spot on the teens. Teens, so midadath, and we got two. So we're gonna go here. Two, we say miso, miso, miso. So we're gonna put miso, and here's your o sap. You don't need to put another o because it's gonna miso, miso sap, miso sap. So you don't need to put a double o sound. So miso sap, miso, miso sap, okay? All right, so 13, so I'm gonna have you at this time, what do we come with first for 13? Metaten. Metateth. Misto. Nesto. Nesto. There you go. And what do we add at the end to make it a T number? Sap. O sap. O sap. O sap. Nesto sap. Nesto o sap. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So 14. Okay. So let's do the next one. What can you tell me with 14? Meta. All right, so I'm going to take this down. So with, um, we're going to do, this is the total physical response that we just, that we just did with Motske gone back to all the way to Medadath, right? So now with the teens, now that you know uh, the pattern, so we got midadath niso osap. So let's go back to 11 actually. Midadath byak osap. Midadath niso osap. Midadath nisto osap. Midadath newo osap. Midadath ni nianen osap. Midadath Nico, Nico Twayas. Nico Tossic. Nico Tossic. Nico Tossic. Okay. Medada de. De. De Paco. De Paco. O sap. Sap. And then Medada. In the new. In the new. O sap. There you go. We got that. Now, like I said, 19. Actually, I'll put it 19. So 19, like I said, we're going to always hear that number gay guts. Meaning what again? Almost. And what comes after 19? 20. So we're going to put 20 over here. So we're going to go and say 20. So right away you see a 2. So we're going to put niso. And then this is where it changes to count by tens. We're going to use the word mitta now. Mit now okay so if 19 is gay gats niso mit the now so what is 20 niso mit the now niso mit the now okay and then we gotta go to 21 so when do I have the 20 so we're gonna put niso mitta now. And we have the one. So one we say yeah. And we add O sap. There we go. Niso mitta now byak o sap. Niso mitta now byak o sap. So repeat after me. Let's go up to 19. So say gay gats. Okay. 
Gegats. Niso mitanao. Niso mitanao. Niso mitanao. Niso mitanao. Niso mitanao. Niso mitanao. Piak ko sa. Piak ko sa. All right. Now, twenty-two. Can you tell me how to put twenty-two together now? Niso mitanao. Niso sa. Eko sa. Niso mitanao. So sap. Okay. So twenty-three. Okay, twenty-three. Niso mitanao. Nisto sap. Okay, so you gotta remember there's no bar on top of that one, so this makes the Ni, ni, ne. Oh, ne. Ne sto. Ne sto. Yeah, ne sto sap. All right. Okay. So with the twenties, I know this is going to be a bit longer to 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 do total physical response. So twenty, you're going to flash one, two. So that makes twenty. Ni so o sap. Okay. So let's do. Um, 19 so 19 you're gonna do medadeth even though the word doesn't say medadeth gay gods gay gods ni somethana gay gods ni somethana sorry freeze that gay gods ni somethana so because you're flashing 19 okay so gay gods ni somethana gay gods ni somethana okay so ni somethana ni somethana Niso mitanao. Twenty one. Let's just go back to twenty one. So niso mitanao biak o sap. Niso mitanao niso sap. Niso mitanao nesto sap. Niso mitanao neo o sap. Niso mitanao niana no sap. Niso mitanao nikotasik o sap. Niso mitanao tepakop o sap. Niso mitanao enaneo o sap. So we did all the way to 28. So we all know the pattern now almost. So I'm going to flip this over. And don't forget, mit the now. After that, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, mit the now. And we're going to have to know the basic number. So I'm going to flip this over. So we're going to do 30. So by any chance, how would you say 30? Nisto metanao. Not nisto. Nesto. Nesto. Nesto metanao. Nesto metanao. Okay, I'm going to tell you a trick on this one. A lot of my students get mis mixed up with niso, which is two, mm -hmm. and nisto. And I said, well, how many knees do you have? Ni. Niso two, okay. Niso two, nisto. So think of your knee. How many you have two? Okay. <laughs> All right. Now, thirties. Nisto mitanao. So we're gonna go to. Actually, we didn't do twenty nine. Sorry, we skipped the twenty nine. But now you know nisto mitanao twenty nine. But what is that word we're always gonna use when we say nine? Gay gats. There you go. Gay gats. Nisto mitanao. Okay. We got our 30. And obviously, what is our next number? 30. Nisto mitanao. Thirty-one and thirty-one. Start with Nisto. Me this now. One. Yep. Oh, sap. Okay. So thirty-two. Let's do thirty-two with total physical response. Okay. So I'm gonna count by tens to three. So. Nesto 
Bjerg og Samp. Nesto mettenau Bjerg og Samp. Nesto mettenau Bjerg og Samp. Nesto mettenau Bjerg og Samp. Okay? You may feel that's a lot of this, but if you get like nesto metana, if you break it up, nesto metana, 10, 20, 30, right? So break it up. So nesto metana, byak osap. Okay, so 32, nesto metana, niso osap. And I want you to tell me 33. I'll catch up with my reading here. Okay, so from there. 34 to 38, we'll just do total physical response. You ready? So 34. Nesto metanao neo osap. Nesto metanao nianan osap. Nesto metanao nikotasik osap. Nesto metanao debokop osap. Nesto metanao enane osap. Awesome. Now we're going to go to. 39. 39. So what word do we hear right away? We Gigat. use a nine. Gigats. And what is our next number after 39? Gigat. In English though. Let's do, what, what's 40. the next? 40. Okay, now tell me how do we say 40 in Cree? Four. And we use our Neo 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 So okay, got Neo Metanao. 39, 40, Neo now. Okay, and then 41. Neo Meta now. Forty one, yuck, yuck, what's that? Yuck, okay, yuck, what's that? Forty two, Neo Metanao, Miso, Sap. Mm, there you go. Okay, so let's try to do this with physical total response. So we're at the 40, so, okay, now we're gonna do it four times. So, let's, so we're gonna break this up. Ne wo me me da now. So each time you say that, they should have four flashes for 40. So ne wo me da now byak o sap. Ne wo me da now is o sap. Ne wo me da now. Nero osap. Nero met the now. Niana no sap. Nero met the now. Nick Nicotasic osap. Nero met the now. Depocop osap. Nero met the now. Enano osap. So we did all the way 40 to 48. And then we're going to go to 49. Okay. Okay, so 49. Gegats niano metanao. Gegats niano metanao. Next number is 50. Right there. So niano metanao. 
Niano metanao. Okay, so we're going to do total physical response, TPR. So you're going to have five flashes to make your niano metanao. So, so, niano metanao. Niano metanao. Niano metanao. There you go. And you could tell me 51. Awesome. Egosane. Dance, get the thumbs got the now on Oskagi Saga, Kimberly Halkrun, this thing asun. Anosna atumustata now all, Oma be some guy don't work, be some work, months. Egosa. So the word be some means the sun or moon. But in this case, we're going to use the word moon. And the moon we s are the months. So months, we say bisimak. Bisimak, bisimak. The word bisim is sun or moon. Okay? And we're going to take that bisim and turn it into months. We're going to say bisimwak. Bisimwak, bisimwak. So that means months. Bisimwak moon so every month you're gonna hear the word be sim okay so before I start I'll just give you a little lesson on the word clock okay what does the clock tell you it tells you the a.m. and p.m. time right so you have morning and night which is morning you have the Sun and night you have the moon be sim clock so what we call a clock in Cree, we call it Pisamogan. Pisamogan. Okay, Pisamogan. So here's that word Pisam. Pisamogan, because the clock tells you that AM and PM, sun and moon. Just to emphasize another Cree word, clock, Pisamogan. So we're gonna go right into our first our first besim, which is January. January. And we call January Gisse Besim. Gisse Besim. So this word Gisse, you probably have heard that somewhere before because Gisse we say Gisse Manitu. Kisimanitu means the great creator. So in this case, we say Kisipisim when we call it the great moon. The great moon. Kisipisim. So January, um, I'm going to emphasize more on why the months are set the way they're set in Cree. Because in the Cree language, everything is descriptive. And some of the words are long or even short. So in the Bisamuk, Bisamuk, January, Gisse Bisam, Great Moon, Gisse. So at that time, the the land, the animals, so, um, most of the Bisamuk uh, contains an, an animal or what happens to the land. So for this one, Gisse Bisam, Great Moon, January is one of the most coldest 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 months of the year mitinit the gayao it's very very cold mitinit the gayao and that's when the great moon um, it protects the land it protects the animals so everything's asleep because it's too cold for for anything to be out and about so that's why they say gisibisim for january so the animals don't have much to move around or to go out because it's too cold to be out and about because it's Gisibisim, Gisibisim, Great Moon. And it's the very, very coldest month of the year, January. So Gisibisim. So now we're going to go to February. February. February is when we welcome the eagle. So the eagle is Mekiso. Mekiso. Make it so, eagle. So February we have given it called make 
Mikesewe, Bisim. And we call this the, the Eagle Returns. Okay, so Mikeso, Eagle. February, we turn it to Mikesewe, Bisim. Eagle Moon. Okay, so after January, February, March, January, Gesip Bisim, February, Mikesewe, Bisim, then we have March. March, we have called it Niskapisim. Nis, I said, Niskapisim, sorry, Niske, Niskapisim. What? We're going to take that Nis. Niska, Niska, so Niska means um, the uh, the goose, it's the goose moon. So the goose has returned back, so Niske, Niska, Bisim, goose moon is coming back, Niska, goose, and the time is the geese return and it's the indication that spring is on the way. Okay, so niska, one is goose. So we're gonna say niskak. The geese are returning in the spring. In spring, we say sequen, sequen. Okay, sequen, spring is returning to and it's just around the corner, indication that spring is on its way because the niskak are coming back. So niskabisim. Okay. Now we have April. April is the loudest, the loudest month because we have the frogs. And you know how the frogs are are so loud with their, uh, how do you say that? <laughs> that? The sounds that are coming out of the frogs and you hear that. So, and so frog, we say enike se we bisim. We call that the frog month. I mean the frog moon, sorry. A frog room, a frog moon. Anigis sewe bisum. Anigis frog. And that's with the revival. And then you're going to start feeling the warmth, the arrival of warm weather. And it's open. And also it opens the water, and frogs become more active in the ponds. And that's why you hear them so loud. And not only that, you could start seeing the the ice and um, the opening of the lakes and things are starting to slowly melt. Okay, so the warm weather is coming. Still, it's, it's, it's there. <laughs> okay, and then we got May. Okay, May. That's when you start seeing the land start coming al alive, like the trees. Okay, so we're going to say um, May. So May is sa uh, ge Sake Paka We Bisim Sake Right there it tells you Sake is when um, when the leaves are budding out and we call Sake Pagase budding moon meaning that the leaves you start seeing a rose butt, I guess you would say, and they're starting to grow very, very tiny and green. Okay, so sage, sage pagao. It's peeking out, I think it's sage. Trying to emphasize more on that one. So sage pagao, we bisim, budding moon. So that's when leaves are budding, budding. Okay. 
April, May, and then we have June. June is, um, so we're going to put two and two together with this. We have June and July, but I'm going to emphasize on the word on June like I did with Sage. Okay, so June we call it Bas. Basque, basque, we be some basque, basque, wa, basque, we, basque, we, ho, we be some. Basca, okay. June is considered when eggs are starting to hatch. So when the young birds peek their from their fragile egg shells, right? Okay, just say so that. okay, June. Okay, so June. Okay, so the key word is um, I'm gonna emphasize on open it. Bastina, ba, bastina. So baske we oho owe bisim. It's called the hatching moon. So at that time, the June is when the young birds are breaking from their from their eggshells, their fragile eggshell. The eggs are starting to hatch. So it's when the young birds are breaking from their fragile shells. Okay. Okay. So let's go to June, July. So July. Okay. So July, we have the word. Pasqua we bisem. Pasqua we bisem. So Pasqua, I'm going to em emphasize that word, meaning at that time when the uh, Benesisa, the birds, Pasqua, pa Pasqua Pantic, Pasqua Pantic, like their mal the, the mallards and the ducks, you see buck, losing their feathers down, they're down, and growing adult feathers. Okay, Pasqua Pantic. And then that means the, the, mol the molting moon. So when when young vowel are molt, molting, so vowel meaning birds in general, birds benesi suck. So you're gonna see all these new herd of birds with new feathers because they're going into their adult feathers in July. So for June was Pasqua we he we bisim, meaning the hatching moon, Pas, Pasqua, and. Um, for the month for August, so the adult feathers are growing in and they're gonna fly. So in August, oh paho, oh paho we bisim, oh paho we bisim means the flying moon. Oh paho, oh paho is when they are flying, when the young vowel and old and they're old enough to fly. So here's that word vowel again, meaning the birds. Benis he suck. So, Ofpaho we bisim, August, the flying moon month, the flying moon. All right. So, September, we have the word the gog, the gogge bisim. So, the ga, the gua, the gogge bisim, the gogge bisim. Meaning, gogge bisim, the leaf. The leaf falling moon. Okay, but the gage is one of the seasons of the word fall, the gagan. Okay, the gagan season fall. So that's where, because that's when the indication starts when the when the season comes, the gagan. The leaves are falling. So the month of September, that's when they start to fall off and you can see the changes of the colors. They turn to yellow, orange, and they start to fall. So the whole month of September is the indication that fall is here. Okay? The Gage Bison, the leaf falling moon, the Gagan. And then we're going to go into October. October. So Bimin, 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 how? Bimihao we bisim. So, flying moon. That's when the Niskak and 
all the Binesi Sak are going to be flying the moon when the birds are beginning their flight to the south. So they're going to the south where it's going to be warmer. So flying to the south. Bimehawe Bisim. Flying moon. So flying to the south. The Binesi Sak. So you have your geese and niska. And that's another thing, you ha it's another indication that, you know, it's, it got, it's getting warmer, it's getting less warmer and we're heading into winter. And you could see that trends. You could start seeing the changes already, like from September to October. September indicates that the, ga the gogget besom, like the leaves are falling, but the goggin is the season fall. So the fall season is, is rolling in. So the indication, the Gage the, the the leaf falling moon. And then September, we have October. Um, um, so it means that the flying moon, meaning, meaning that the birds, like the geese and the ducks, are flying to the south. Okay, who's flying? The birds. So they're going to the south for warming weather already. Then we have the word uh, next. Uh, the next besom we call uh, November. November. This is a Aquatinoe. 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 Besom. Okay. So I'm going to take that first part, aquatin. So aquatin. Is, um, aquatin is something that's frozen. Or something that's freezing up. So aquatin. So November is the indication of things are starting to freeze. And the land is starting to stay still and ready for winter. Aquatin, things are starting to freeze. Okay, so aquatin no e and we call it the freeze up moon. Freeze up moon. Okay, that's when you notice the ground starting to look crystal and it's land starting to get harder, and you see the birds going to the south, the leaves are falling. So Mother Earth is preparing for winter. So bipun, bipun. So you got bipun. It's almost winter. So right here, November, aquatinoe bisim. So winter starting to set in because everything needs to be frozen. So freeze up month, aquatin, frozen, freeze. Okay, and then we're gonna go into December. 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 The frost exploding moon. The frost exploding moon. December. So and then I'll put up the Cree word. It's a little long, so bear with me. <laughs> So yet bawa chike nisis bawa the frost exploding moon December so that's where um, meaning that the trees are crackling from the cold temperatures okay so the frost exploding moon bawa chike nisis bisim the trees are starting to crackle 
because with that frost, everything you could start hearing, um, it's taking its shape and it's, it's like the lake, it's starting to change its shape. And it's getting into its shape where it's gonna stay still because it's winter time. So trees crackling from the cold temperatures. And so the cold temperatures are rising, rising. So December, what comes after December? If this is all happening in the frost moon, the bawajigin trees crackling from the cold temperatures. So everything is starting to freeze up for the winter. And then that's when we have the cold month of January. So let's go back to January. And you can see the whole cycle of the moons and the changes what takes place and it indicates when um when winter spring summer fall comes in so let's go back to january so january gisipisim february mikisewepisim march niskapisim april anikisewepisim may sakipagawepisim June, Pasqua, Pas, Pastina, Pas, Pasque, We, Owe, Pisim, Pasqua, We, Pisim, O, Paho, We, Pisim, Takwa, Ke, Pisim, and Bim, Bimanaha, Bimeha, We, Pisim, Be, We, the frosting exploding moon.